We are going to start off with the threaded needle at the bottom. Let me know what your opinions are because I know that my opinion is not going to be your opinion and that's okay. So we'll have a conversation about how you guys feel in the comments. I just want to preface that, that this is all opinion based, but I have the threaded needle at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and explain that. But before I do that, I want you to know that you can pick up the threaded needle by getting to season rank 30 within your season pass, but that's not the only way you can get it. You can also get it to drop from the battlegrounds. It's a little weird where it's dropping before you're actually able to earn certain weapons. So that's kind of cool, I guess, if you're wanting to earn some of these before you have to grind them in the season pass. The role that originally drops is Dragonfly, Clown Cartridge, Liquid Coils, and Fluted Barrel. And so with that being said, I want to also show some of the available perks that are able to roll um, on this weapon and let you guys know what's available. So I'm going to quickly switch to that as well so you can see. With this, I'm on Light GG. And one of the nice things here is it'll actually show what the community average roll is, so what most people are using. As you can see, most people are using the static roll as of now. It's still early in the season, so a lot of people haven't, I'm sure, got the rolls that they would actually like, if they're even using that weapon, to be honest. But so Dragonfly, Clown Cartridge, Liquid Coils, and Fluted, as you saw, that is the original roll that you can get. Some of the actual rolls that it can drop with is also Demolitionist, Thresh, Dragonfly, Multi-Kill Clip, Vorpal, and Frenzy on the uh, final slot if you're lucky enough to get one of those perks. There are some pretty decent perks that drop on the final slot. You can also get Killing Wind, Clown Cartridge, Rapid Hit, Auto Loading Holster, Range Finder, and field prep. Now back in the day, especially on uh, Line in the Sand, I really liked uh, Rapid Hit, and if you guys remember like Firing Line back in the day, I really enjoyed that uh, synergy that worked out there. Um, now obviously no Firing Line here, but we also in the coils have Accelerated Coils, Enhanced Battery, Ionized Battery, Liquid Coils, Particle Reaper, and Projection Fuse. And then we have a decent amount of um, scopes that I'll allow you guys to go through. I'll post the Light GG links if you guys want to go through the scopes as well. I'm going to mainly focus on the perks. Now, into the reason that I don't love this weapon that much. So first off, talking about it in the PvP side of things. In my opinion, if you're going to use a linear fusion rifle, at least in today's current meta, especially if you're on console, I would recommend that you just use Arbalist. I mean, you don't have to burn the heavy slot and you're able to have a linear fusion rifle that assassinates everybody so just right off the bat i think this thing is ousted by um a non-heavy that you can have in your kinetic slot with your arbalist um so that's the first part in terms of the pvp side of things in pve let's just be honest there's just way too many better options at the the current moment even with swords being nerfed falling guillotine still a better option lament is still a better option even rockets have gotten a lot better especially the ones we're going to talk about here in just a second as well but um just keep that in mind there are a lot of better perks on i just think excuse me weapons on both side of things that are just going to be better options so that's why i have this at the bottom it's no hard feelings to the threaded needle I think it can stack up against some of these other weapons that we're going to be talking about in here in just a second, but just in general, in the current Destiny 2 Season 13 Season of Chosen, just not a great option in my opinion. Next, we're going to talk about the bow. So I have the Imperial Needle just a little bit above the Linear Fusion Rifle. I think this could go either way. The reason why I put it above was mainly because there's Overload Bow on the Artifact this season, and I think maybe you can find some use for this if you're doing anything that has Overloads um, and you want to use a bow other than the either new exotic bow or just any other bow that you like so with that being said the role that i do have here is frenzy killing wind uh fire glass arrow shaft i have helical um fletchling and then we have tactile string and we have elastic string for this bow so the bow is not bad in pvp it's nothing too special in pve it can be decent like i said especially if you use it in the right situations like the overload situation i think it could be really cool you know if you're pairing an anti-barrier with overload and you want to do lament and this bow i think that could be a decent um combination that has some good synergy especially if you're trying to cover your range and then you want to go in and go nuts with lament i think that could be a pretty cool strategy i don't have too much to say on the bow so i'm going to jump right into the random rolls and talk about it a little bit one thing that did catch my eye on the random rolls piece of things was the curated roll that can drop here so if you notice it's lightweight frame uh, with agile bowstring and then carbon arrow shaft the two things that caught my eye a little bit was quick draw and thresh i thought that being able to pull it out super quick as well as um killing combatants with the weapon generates a small amount of super energy maybe that could work pretty decently um it's it's really um you know uh, 
hit or miss. I, I think it could be decent. Maybe with the new Warlock exotic, it could uh, be decent. Overall, it's a bow. Use it if you like bows. Um, let's go over the perks real quick. We have Thresh. We also have Wellspring. We have Swashbuckler. We have um, Opening Shot. We have Sympathetic Arsenal. We have Frenzy as well. And then we have Archer's Tempo, Hipfire Grip, Snake Bow, Killing Wind, Impulse Amplifier, as well as Quick Draw. So some pretty decent uh, perks that you can get it to drop with. Then we have Carbon Arrow Shaft, Compact Arrow Shaft, Fire Glass Arrow Shaft, Helical Fletchling, Natural Fletchling, and Straight Fletchling. So that's going to be what you're able to use for the bow. So um, kind of let me know what you think of the bow. I'm not not a fan. I'm just, I don't think, a fan either. So I'm just kind of somewhere in the middle. It's not a bad bow. Use it if you enjoy it. That's really all I have to say about it. The next weapon on our list, and it actually pains me to rank it so low because I actually love it, is the Brass Attacks. So the Brass Attacks is the new sidearm that you can get at level 45 of the Season Pass, but you can also just get it to drop instantly from the Battlegrounds activity again, like before how I mentioned. The roll that's going to drop when you do get that is going to be Chambered Compensator, Alloy Magazine, and Overflow, and Sympathetic Arsenal. So with that being said... If I go to the role that I have, I absolutely love it. So I have Surplus and Dragonfly, and I've really been enjoying it a lot. So I got Dragonfly, Surplus, Appendit with Light Mag, Extended, and Full Bore. I could see Overflow being really, really good too. Um, I have range on this Masterwork, and as you see a little bit in some of these clips I'm going to show, you can shoot things from super far away from, with this. It's super stable, and it feels a lot like the Spire of Stars sidearm. If you guys can remember back to that time period, it reminds me a ton of that sidearm and I love it a lot it's not bad in PvP too but the thing where this thing really really shines in my opinion is the um, PvE area especially in Battlegrounds I would 100% give it a go in Battlegrounds and see if you like it in terms of the perks on the side of things let's go ahead and talk about the random perks that you can get for the brass attacks so we're gonna go ahead and swap over and with that being said if we go back over to light.gg We'll see here that uh, in terms of the perks, we have um, One for All, Wellspring, Sympathetic Arsenal, Rampage, Dragonfly, and Frenzy. So some pretty decent perks in there. Uh, would love to try out Rampage and see how that stacks a little bit as well. As you guys already know, I told you I'm loving Dragonfly. On the second, we can get Threat Detector, you can get Rapid Hit, Surplus, which I have on the other one, Slightways, Killing Wind, and Feeding Frenzy. Feeding Frenzy, another interesting one as well. Um, then we have Extended Mag, we have, um, we have Appendant Mag, we have Alloy Magazine, we have Armor Piercing Rounds, we also have High Cal and Ricochet, we have Flared Mag, and we have Light Mag as well. So um, you can take a look at the scopes again, as I mentioned, um, as those go. Um, and so yeah, this is the Brass Attacks. I really love this one. I have nothing but good things to say. I feel bad having it at the bottom two slot, but there's not that many weapons to rank. So just know that I think any of the weapons that I'm ranking outside of the linear, I absolutely love. I think that I could enjoy using any of these without um, ever getting bored, at least in terms of the top four. Now in terms of the linear, um, that's going to need some work. So let me know what you think about the Brass Attacks. The next weapon on our list is the Extraordinary Rendition. I had a really tough time ranking this one because I'm trying not to be biased because I think out of all the weapons this is my favorite. Now I don't quite think that means it's the best, but I really, really, really enjoy this SMG. I don't know what it is about it, but it just is. It just one of those feel good weapons, you know, it just feels good to use and feels good to shoot. So the weapon roll that I do have is Thresh, Overflow, Acarized Rounds, Flared Mag, uh, Extended, as well as Fluted. And then I have Handling on this. Now, what I love the most out of everything is Overflow on this. Now, with Overflow, I just love having a ton of bullets. And then with having a ton of bullets, you also, it just feels like even though um, I don't even have a range masterwork on it, it just feels like it's so stable, it can shoot so far away, and it almost feels like a laser. So I really, really love this weapon a lot. Um, I decided to put it here just because I didn't want to get too overboard with uh, me just enjoying it personally and I wanted to make sure I ranked it fairly but um, I love this sub definitely give it a try um, I threw it around a little bit in PvP didn't think it was anything special subs are still in kind of a weird spot in PvP but in PvE this thing is amazing I think it's a beast it it has amazing range it has amazing handling and yeah I think that you're really gonna like this role so let's uh, go ahead and get into the perks for the extraordinary rendition 
And so with that being said, we have, starting with the curated being Arrowhead, um, Acarized, Subsistence, and Multi-Kill. What we have going on, we have Multi-Kill, we have Thresh, we have Tap the Trigger, we have Rampage, we have um, One for All, and we have Frenzy. Then we have Firmly Planet, Outlaw, Zen Moment, Surplus, Overflow, and Subsistence. So we have some pretty good uh, stuff going on here on um, both sides of the perks here. I think that you can't go wrong with a good amount of these, but my number one thing that I love on these is Overflow. So I'm going Overflow all the way um, on my first perk, but then Multi Kill Clip feels good. Thresh would feel good. Um, I'm sure Rampage would be amazing as well. And then same deal, even Frenzy has been feeling fun as of late. So definitely try a lot of these. Um, maybe even try one for all, see how that feels. Um, overall, Overflow is the number one thing that I'm shooting for, usually if it's me at least. Then we have Accurized Rounds, Appendant Mag, uh, Tactical Mag, Extended Mag, Steady Rounds, Alloy Magazine, and lastly we have Flared Mag. So go ahead and give this thing a try. I have nothing but good things to say about the sub. I really, really love it a lot. Um, yeah, man, it's 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 a dope weapon. So just let me know what you think about it. Next on our list, we have the rocket launcher, the Code Dwello. Love the name of this one. This one's really cool. It looks really nice. And um, if you haven't seen already, this thing has been turning some heads this season. I know that you guys know that we had a rocket launcher buff this season, which is kind of exciting. So we're just gonna go right into it. So the role that I have is Frenzy, Quick Draw, Black uh, Powder, and then we have uh, Implosion Rounds, we have Linear Compensator, and we have Volatile Launch. And then I have Velocity on this Masterwork. So in terms of some of the roles that it can roll with, I wanna just go ahead and get right into that before we show any gameplay as well. Um, if we move over to Light GG, you'll see that the curated that we have, the Volatile Launch, Alloy Casing, Impulse Amplifier, and Chain Reaction. So I know that you guys have probably been hearing some crazy things about Chain Reaction, more so on the um, Salvo uh, Grenade Launcher. But um, yeah, that's been turning some heads to the Chain Reaction perk as of late. But um, so what we have is Ambitious Assassin, Frenzy, Cluster Bombs, which is the one that you're really going to be wanting to look out for, because uh, Cluster Bombs are kind of back. And then we have Unrelenting, which is another, uh, then we have Lasting Impression. Rockets attach on impact and detonate after delay, increases blast radius and damage. I think this one's really cool. Um, and then we have Chain Reaction. Each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion. Also very cool. Impulse Amplifier, Quick Draw, Field Prep, Surplus, and Auto Loading Holster. So some cool perks there. Then we have Impact uh, Casing. We have Implosion Rounds. We have High Velocity Rounds. We have Black Powder and we have alloy casing. So this rocket is pretty cool. Not gonna give you too much, I think, in the PVP side of things, uh, especially if you notice there's no tracking on these, but the cluster bombs makes it really cool. And I'm just gonna show a quick little snippet of my brother Sweatsicle's video of showing what this thing did to Riven. So cluster bombs are back. Make sure to go and try these with rockets being back. I think it's exciting that rockets are somewhat relevant again. I think it's dope. So definitely give it a try and make sure to check out Sweatsicle on YouTube and Twitch. I'll have those in the description. Um, but yeah, check out his video. The final gun we're gonna go over is the Far Future Sniper Rifle, and I absolutely love this sniper rifle. I think it performs great in PvP and PvE. For a PvP potato like me, I still really, really enjoy the weapon, so I can't imagine it in the hands of some of you PvP legends. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. If you can get it to roll with quick draw, like the roll that I have here that we're gonna be showing right now, you'll really, really, really like it, as it'll feel very snappy, and will feel almost as if you have snapshot, which is really nice because if you don't have snapshot, snipers can end up feeling quite sluggish. So that's definitely going to be the role that you're going to want to get into. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the random roles that it can drop with. So diving right into the perks, you'll see that the curated, we have arrowhead, acarized, we have surplus, and we have wellspring. But getting into these perks that can drop on the random roles, we have wellspring, demolitionist, thresh, multi-kill clip, opening shot, as well as frenzy and then with that we have lead from gold auto loading holster slide shot moving target quick draw which like i said guys you really really want to get quick draw here and then surplus from there we have acarize rounds appendant mag tactical mag extended mag steady rounds alloy magazine as well as flared 
And then let's go into the scopes just because it's a sniper, arrowhead break, chamber compensator, corkscrew rifling, extended barrel, fluted barrel, full bore, hammer forged rifling, and polygonal rifling. So this is going to be what the sniper can roll with. I think it's an amazing, amazing gun. One thing that it reminds me of, and get in the comments, let me know if you um, agree with this, but it reminds me almost of like how snappy the Silicon Neroma felt. And I really, really love that sniper. It's still one of my favorite weapons in the game. So I really, really enjoy this sniper. I think you're gonna really, really um, be able to do a ton of amazing things with the sniper and the PVP side of things. The reason why I gave it the number one role was because I don't think that in good faith the other weapons um, just like could dominate at the same level outside of maybe the um, the rocket outside of that I think all of the other weapons are good and I think they're a lot of fun but I think that the rocket and the sniper have the um, potential to do some amazing things on the PVE and PVP side of things so that was the reasoning for my ranking obviously this was all opinionated so let me know what you guys think about the um, weapons and let me know what your favorite one is and let me know your rankings for all of these weapons guys thank you so much again for everything if you did make it this far let me know that you did by saying um, pickles I don't know Thank you guys so much again. I love you. Take care, guys. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. And with that, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next Destiny video. Thanks. I love you guys. My face is equipped. They shot to the lip. Take out the coin, then I flip. Pull out the thorn, then it's real. Dragon tattooed on my hip. Invading like my name is Zim. Dunking these most like a rim. Yes, I am harder than Shin. Making you pay for your sins. The drift of the nine. Yeah, I'm rolling with them. I'm fine. I feel incredible. No, I'm not regular. Stand on a pedestal. Juggles my heart when he's off of his medicine. For my squad, I go all like an animal. Buy guns. Got your head on a reticle. No trust. He need to go level a man down. But no, I'm not giving up. I think that I said enough.